Aesop's Fable EP 63, The Bird Who Balanced the Feet. Scene 1, The Nest of Different Sizes. In a tall, sturdy tree in the middle of a lush forest, there lived a wise mother bird named Bella. Bella had three baby birds, Tweet, Chirp, and Peep, who were all different sizes. Tweet was the smallest, Chirp was medium-sized, and Peep was the largest. Every day, Bella would go out to gather food for her hungry chicks, flying far and wide to find the best seeds and worms. One day, as Bella returned to the nest with her beak full of food, she realized that simply giving each chick the same amount might not be fair. Peep, being the largest, needed more food to grow strong, while Tweet, the smallest, needed much less. Bella knew that to keep all her chicks healthy, she would need to divide the food according to their sizes. How can I make sure that each of my chicks gets the right amount of food? Bella wondered. She realized that she needed to use ratios to divide the food fairly based on the size of each chick. Scene 2. Understanding the Ratios Bella decided to start by figuring out the ratio of the sizes of her chicks. She observed them carefully and thought, if I compare their sizes, Peep is the largest, Chirp is a bit smaller, and Tweet is the smallest. If I think of Peep as three parts in size, then Chirp could be two parts, and Tweet could be one part. Bella knew that to divide the food fairly, she would need to give Peep three times as much food as Tweet, and Chirp twice as much as Tweet. This way, each chick would get an amount that matched their size. Now, Bella had gathered 12 seeds in total. She wanted to divide these seeds among her three chicks using the ratio she had figured out, three parts for Peep, two parts for Chirp, and one part for Tweet. Scene 3, Dividing the Food Bella began by adding up the total number of parts, three parts for Peep, plus two parts for Chirp, plus one part for Tweet equals six parts in total. She realized that she needed to divide the 12 seeds into six equal parts. How many seeds should be in each part? Bella asked herself. She quickly did the math in her head. If 12 seeds need to be divided into six parts, then 12 divided by six equals two seeds per part. With this calculation, Bella was able to figure out how many seeds each chick should get. Peep, being the largest, should get three parts. Since each part is two seeds, Peep should get three times two, which equals six seeds. Chirp, being the middle-sized chick, should get two parts. So, Chirp should get two times two, which equals four seeds. Tweet, being the smallest, should get one part. So, Tweet should get one times two, which equals two seeds. Bella carefully divided the seeds according to this ratio, placing six seeds in front of Peep, four seeds in front of Chirp, and two seeds in front of Tweet. Scene four, the balanced meal. As Bella watched her chicks eat, she saw that her calculations were correct. Peep, with the biggest appetite, ate all six seeds happily. Chirp, who was medium-sized, was satisfied with four seeds, and little Tweet, with a smaller appetite, was content with just two seeds. Bella felt proud of herself for using ratios to make sure each of her chicks got the right amount of food. She realized that understanding and using ratios was a smart way to solve problems and make sure everyone was treated fairly. From that day on, whenever Bella brought food to the nest, she used ratios to divide it according to the sizes and needs of her chicks. The other birds in the forest heard about Bella's method and were impressed by how she had used math to care for her family. They began to use similar methods to distribute food among their own chicks. As her chicks grew strong and healthy, Bella knew that she had done the right thing by using ratios to ensure that each one got exactly what they needed. 
She also knew that math was not just about numbers, it was about making good decisions that could help everyone thrive. Moral of the story, using ratios helps us divide things fairly according to need or size. By understanding and applying ratios, we can make sure everyone gets the right amount, ensuring fairness and balance in all we do.